Derek Bros. Derek Bros is coming. To be followed by Carl Dusena. Hello, members of City Council. How are you doing? Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, some of you know who I am. For those who are unfamiliar, I'll just introduce myself briefly. My name is Derek Bros. I'm a journalist here in the city of Houston. I work for KPFT 90.1. I have a radio show Monday afternoons, and I work for the local news as well. I've emailed each of you, including the mayor, the last three, week in, three weeks in a row, including this morning, related to the implementation of 5G technology here in the city. I'm hoping those didn't go to your spam folders and maybe somebody saw them. But if not, please do check your spam folders. I sent one this morning. And last week I was able to talk to the mayor a little bit at the unveiling of the world's first 5G customer here in the city of Houston. And the mayor expressed a desire to move forward, that the city wants to be number one. We want to be number one before New York, before Austin, before all these kinds of things. A lot of pride in moving the city forward with the implementation of 5G and all that it might bring, all the new technologies. However, what I've been sending to you guys in emails is the fact that there are a number of privacy and health concerns related to the rollout of 5G technology. This technology involves putting in what they're calling small cells. Small cells only travel, the, the waves only travel about 500 feet, which means they need to be installed nearly everywhere, buildings, poles, things like that. So this is going to involve the implementation of a lot more infrastructure, and along with that, the potential danger related to a number of health concerns. So I'll just briefly uh, list off to you guys some of the information I've already sent to you, and please do check your emails. The Los Angeles Times two years reported on a study showing a, a rise in tumors related to uh, rats and uh, cell phone technology, the same technology that 5G will operate on. I'm looking at a Kaiser Permanente study from December 2017 that was published in Scientific Reports that shows in San Francisco hundreds of pregnant women that were near what's known as magnetic field non-ionizing radiation that's associated with cell phones were at 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. And there are more studies like this. This is in your email. And because of this and because of the fact that this has largely been ignored by the corporate media, the organization known as Project Censored, which is a nonprofit that has been around since 1976 and focuses on stories that are underreported or misreported by the corporate media, has said that 5G one, is one, the. One second, one second. Your time is this is the last sentence I have. No. 5G is the one number four one second, underreported one, story of the year. One second, hold on one second, Councilmember Council Member Christie. Sure. In my question, you can expound sure. on your last sentence Thank there you, Jack. somewhere. So, Explain to lay people sure. the damage of the microwaves, microwave frequency and, uh, and the, the um, not natural radiation, the um, man-made radiation. Uh, explain to lay people what damage that does to human cellular makeup. Sure. So I will preface this with I'm not a scientist or a health professional. I'm a journalist and a researcher. And so I'm going off of the studies of other scientists who actually have done the research. 5G and cell phones operate off of what is called millimeter wave technology, which affects the skin particularly. So the concern is with Increasing the amount of these towers that are going to be everywhere, small cells, you know, they say they might be as big as a backpack or as big as a fridge, and having them literally littered throughout the city, we don't know what it's going to do. You know, we haven't conclusively found, you know, cancer, for example, but we have found, okay, there, there's, a, there's some causal links there, for example, that should be looked at further. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Houston, of course, is proud to be number one, and we're rushing forward. As far as I know, there's been no no hearings for the people of Houston, there was no discussion. When I asked the mayor and I asked the CEO of Verizon if they looked into this, both of them told me they were unaware of any studies related to health effects of this. As I said, I've emailed this to you guys because I want you to be aware. I live in this city and we're all going to have to deal with the results of this. But it's gotten enough attention now that what I was saying before uh, my time was up is that Project Censored has named an article by The Nation that was published earlier this year, this year called How Big Wireless Convinced the U.S. That Cell Phones and Wi-Fi Are Safe that looks at these studies. They've named that their number four top censored story of 2018. Because Derek, Derek, before yeah, sure. my time runs out, I, I just want to say um, to my fellow council members that um, he has a point. And just remember some of the cell phone against the, the cranium research that even the scientists make their children take and go to remote or voiceless or uh, 
put it on speaker sure. instead of putting it up there because just feel it. You, you put it on there 10 minutes and there's a warmth there that maybe not belong. What radiation and microwave frequency does to individual cells, and the younger the cells, the more vulnerable they are to these waves. So I'm just saying he has a legitimate concern and uh, keep informing us of this. Absolutely. There are some schools in California that are resisting these one, because one they're second. afraid of how they're going to affect kids. One. Councilman sure. Mastardi. Thank you. So yes, do you think this is why there's been a sense of urgency to get the, all the nodes placed out into the neighborhoods and communities, or is it something, a separate issue? You know, I, I try not to speculate on other people's motivations. I can't say why the mayor and Verizon... Like you said there's a distance requirement. There's, well, oh, what I'm saying is that the cell, the cell sites only travel about 500 feet, which is not very far, right? So they, we need to, that's why there's a rollout of so many of them. They won't operate on the same infrastructure that 4G and 3G and 2G have operated on. Although they're saying it's good, the bandwidth is going to allow for all sorts of different devices, you know, driverless cars, all these kind of new futuristic things we want, it doesn't, you know, there's no talk of, well, what is going to happen when we have to install these things every 500 feet on every single building, on, you know, on every, every school and all that in order to make this work, you know. Mary, has there, has there been any progress or are we uh, taking this to the state as far as the placement of the nodes that we have talked about in, you know, the sidewalks and in, in the right-of-ways without any consideration for this for the city or to the residents and if if this is if this is possibly true then it may be another reason to to push harder and there's been no indication by the legislature that they are going to undo what they put in no it's rolling forward what i told the mayor last week as well i'm not sure if you guys are aware of this but the fcc the federal communications commission in the last two weeks actually passed a new rule that now gives the federal government control of the F the 5g rollout so cities will no longer and once this rule goes into place have a say in the prices that you can charge the companies as well as different procedural I, things my concern is that they were placing them in the middle of sidewalks for persons with disabilities and seniors and anyone else wanting to to access pedestrian sidewalks and um, then the second is now you're saying there's a health issue that we need to be concerned about and that they're putting concrete pads mayor in the middle of people's front yards without any consideration and these um, for for the, the different data uh, the white poles with the orange tops or vice versa whatever they are that that is just ridiculous it's out of control, and I don't know where we go, what we need to do, but we need to t we need to get address it as the largest motion, motion to extend. So moved. It's been moved, second, the objection. Chair is done. Motion granted. We're the largest, and 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 we should be taking the lead on this. It's if they're doing it to us, what are they doing elsewhere? And what eventually it may not get to small town USA anytime soon, but eventually it will. Um, it, right now, it's 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 hitting our neighborhoods, and if you're bringing a lot of this technology into our neighborhoods. And you're, you're saying you've got all these advantages, and yet you're not really, you're just bringing it, driving it far enough to cause a health issue and not really pro provide the services, then I have another issue as well because I know that, um, well, I just won't name names, but there's a number of companies that are driving through our neighborhoods and accessing people's yards and adding all this technology, yet it's not, it's not really coming into their homes. It's just getting close enough that they can advertise it. May so, I respond to you? Do I have, please. Okay. Uh, one of the other concerns I have is we, I've looked at the list of the parts of the city that the, the mayor and uh, the city wants to roll out 5G, and the focus is, well, we don't want the poor uh, you know, communities to be left behind, what is sometimes known as the digital divide, where you know, the richer cities get the new technology and the, the poor communities are left out. So in order to combat that, we've talked about, the city's talked about putting 5G in acres homes and in other places, which are the poorest among us. So if these, this does roll forward full steam without any study, not only on the health, but we have to think about the privacy aspect. 5G will bring along so many more interconnected devices where privacy will probably be a thing of the past. And these are things that are being talked about for those who looked, but as I said, this is one of the most censored stories of 2018. They compare it to big tobacco spreading propaganda about cigarettes back in the past. That big wireless is doing something very similar now to try to keep people from looking into the implications of these studies. So again, I invite you guys all to check your email. I would invite each of you who are interested, I will email you again. I would love to have any of you to come talk on our show. It's Mondays from three to five and to share your opinions and your thoughts on this. People are concerned. People are, are you know, I'm here by myself as a journalist, but other people do have concerns and they feel kind of like powerless. You know, the mayor just announced last week, first 5G cell. 
it's, it seems like it's already said and done, like there's nothing we can do about it. But I'm just here to offer an alternative opinion so that in the next 20 years, we don't end up with a bunch of people with cancer in the city. Thank you. For, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor President. Okay. Uh, Carl DeSena. 